Uh, yeah, from the east to the west coast, only by gallon of the place I show the thing. Hey guys, welcome to Nisi's World. This is Shanice, and if you're new to my channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. If you're returning, welcome and thank you so much for returning. And on this video, I know I am a big kid for this very moment, but I want to share with you guys my new best friend. My new best friend is Brownie, a Builder Bear. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. When I was a little kid, I've always wanted a Builder Bear, but I was, able, I was never able to get a Builder Bear. And I said, as I get older, you know, I have read a lot of articles and stuff about how you have to heal your inner child. It could be whatever, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, it could be something that's, you know, minor or something that you always want, but you aren't able to get stuff like that as you were a child. So as you get older, you heal your inner child and bring yourself joy, you know, as you get older. So for my 30th birthday, I actually purchased a Build-A-Bear for myself and I named her Brownie. This is Brownie World. Hey, Niecy's World. This is Brownie. I don't know why I didn't take the tags off of any of her clothing. So I'm gonna show you guys the certificate I got as well. So. First things first, it tells me, it sends me this, like a little gift receipt or like a gift certification that says sent from love, but it actually was sent from me to me. And here is a certificate of Brownie. Brownie is a Sagittarius, born November 29th. Brownie is 16 inches, seven ounces. Eye color is brown, fur color is dark brown. I wanted to get something that was actually close to like my complexion in a sense so right now brownie has a few a little outfits here and there brownie was wearing the giants outfit but just to the giants loss i changed into the Duff dunder mifflin the office top and i just kept the giants pants on however i'm going to show you guys the whole set of the giant set so it came with that pants with this giants top and of course i still have a tag on it and this giants helmet and as you guys can see, I have put a picture around here so you guys can see exactly how the outfit looked. Then next, I purchased this Bring It On Bubbly shirt. This was so cute. So this was the original outfit that I bought with Brownie because I didn't want it just to come naked with nothing on. So I bought this shirt as well. But in honor of Valentine's Day coming up, I bought this shirt from the office that says, You're the Pam to my gym. I thought this was so cute and they have so much affordable clothing and one thing I noticed that Build-A-Bear is doing they're not making it only kid based which I feel like is wonderful they're making it adult based as well because when you go on their site they have so much adult like show themes outfits that you get for your your Build-A-Bear which and they have like giants bear like giant bears or they have like an adult section that has like um like funny sayings on it which is like more dark friendly not kid friendly in that sense or like stuff with the bubbly or like stuff with mimosas or drinking and stuff like that they have so many other themes like they have a black history one that i, I would love to get they have the saint patrick's day they have so many different themes and so much different stuff that I love that they're not making it kid friendly anymore. They're making it more adult and universal friendly. And as someone that I love teddy bears, like I have a whole shelf of all the different teddy bears that I have. I have to keep them up at the top because my loving dog thinks it's her toys. And trust me, dog and bear, they don't mesh. <laughs> because it has the same effect as their toys but when i tell you that i just I, I'm, I managed to keep this on my dresser so she can't really get up and get it but that's something that i love that build a bear is doing now so i have a few outfits that i want to purchase from build a bear for my 
bear so i'll probably show that in the future that's just a little kid in me that's you know like super excited and i just wanted that kid i want that little girl to feel excited about that and stuff like that so this is like a no judgment free zone if you have a builder bear and you're like older and you're like in the same age as me or older and you're healing your inner child i am here for this i don't care what anybody say i feel like you need to heal your inner child and a lot of therapists say that you have to heal your inner child and it could be something so minor maybe when you were a child you wanted that super duper bike but you know you couldn't get it as you get older maybe you find something that's similar to that bike you wanted and you get it and then you feel so good you feel good within yourself like it could be anything i just feel like as uh, as we're getting adults and getting older and especially we're facing this entire world and many of us are having kids i feel like we need to heal our inner child so when we like you have kids and you you try to make sure you're gonna do the best you can for them of course but you're trying to make sure that you are healed within yourself so you don't bring that pain on to your child in the future if you get what i'm saying but thank you guys so much for watching the video I hope that you rate, share, like, subscribe, you tell a friend, tell a friend, all that good stuff. And don't forget to check out my blog where I post every Fridays at 4 p.m. Eastern at diamondsandbillsblog.com. Thank you so much and stay blessed. Bye.